guys, it's Emma from Peaks and Valleys. I'm going to be bringing you another video today. Today's video is uh, makeup. Um, I'm going to be doing makeup for my friend Joey. Uh, she has brown eyes, so there's Joey. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> um, so she has brown eyes, so it's going to be a little bit different than my eyes. Um, so we're going to do a whole bunch of different makeup. So uh, feel free to sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Okay, guys, so today I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Coverall Cream Foundation again on Joey. She's got a little bit of a darker skin tone than me, so I'm actually going to mix it with her foundation. But we'll start with this first. So... Get that on there. Okay. okay. Okay, guys. So I don't care if you can't see my face, but we've got the foundation on. That's important. But we want to make sure we blend it down to the neck. So I'm literally tilt your head back. You need to blend it down into your neck. Please blend it into your neck. You don't want your face to be a different color than your neck. People will see. And if you blend it in, then it will actually look legitimate and it will look good. And people won't even notice that you have foundation on. So they'll just think you have flawless, perfect skin. So, you know. Of the video, um, every Joey's got her foundation on. She's gonna use this um, blender. She's gonna just really rub her foundation into her skin right now. So she's gonna smooth some of the lines out. You can go ahead and just start smoothing it. You can use a mirror as needed and just kind of clean up some of the lines that I left. Um, and she's gonna really just rub it into her skin. The next step she's going, we're gonna do is because her skin's a little bit darker, we're gonna use a little bit of her own foundation. It's called the Bomb Foundation Time Bomb. It's this foundation and it's a cream, it's not a liquid. And we're just going to add a little bit of that to her cheeks. And we're going to do a little bit to her T-zone and just uh, make it a little bit darker. Um, we will also be doing some blush, so you won't even notice um, that it's slightly, like, one shade lighter than her skin. The brush I used for the foundation was the e.l.f. Professional Foundation Brush. Like that, and it comes in the pack of ten. Used that before, so. Okay, so what she's going to do is take that foundation, and she has one of her triangular brushes, the kind of, or sponges, I mean. I have the same kind. And I literally, yep, we both have the same kind. And just use that. And she's going to put some of her cream foundation on there. And she's going to just rub it on her cheeks. She's going to put some right in her T-zone right here. A little bit off to the side here and here. And then one swipe on her chin. Just to get it um, like half a shade to a shade darker. And that's what she's going to do. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do on Joey. Oh, I got it on my sweatshirt. Well, I can wash it out later. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to use... So normally I use on my own eyebrows the Milani uh, Stay Put uh, Eyebrow Filler. It has been my favorite thing in the entire world. The only problem with it is I dyed my hair black, so I have really dark hair, and this eyebrow color works great. It looks really light, but it actually goes on really dark. So we're not going to use it with Joey's uh, eyebrows. I'm going to instead use the Milani brush, though, that came with the pack, and we're going to use some of her, one of her eyeshadow palettes, and we're going to do a brown. Okay, so I don't know if you all can see this palette, but we're going to do this third brown right there, and we're going to do that on her eyebrows. And then it's just an eyeshadow one, and I'm going to use my brush. I'm going to use this side right here, that one, and just get that on her eyebrows. So now she has her eyebrows all done, and her foundation's all good. She's got both colors in. It's all mixed. Literally so much of a difference from the beginning. I have no makeup on today, and I'm in, like, sweat, so, <laughs> <woo. laughs> um, But Joey's going to look really good when we get everything done. So next up we're going to work on is eyes. So I totally blinked, and I, no, you know what? I have a primer. Just kidding. So we're going to get some eye primer on her, and I'll show you that in just a second. So this I keep in my expensive makeup because Sephora is wonderful. And Sephora has an eye primer. It's a beauty amplifier. So basically, it only comes in 0.35 ounces, but you literally only need a small amount. It's an eye primer for your eyeshadow, and it brings out your colors of your eyeshadows. Literally, I did one eye versus using primer and one eye with not. Huge difference. Like, I had to take off my makeup and re-put the primer on because such a difference. So you can hold out your finger. And we're only going to do a tiny amount. I can get this out of here. Hold on. Literally just that much on your eye. Am I really? On your eyelid, yep. So she's just going to put a little dot on her eyelid and just rub it in. And that's the Sephora Beauty Amplifier. Um, it's like a base. Love it. Wonderful. It, com uh, it creates a smooth canvas for long-lasting shadow application. Apply to your eyelids and allow them to dry. And then apply your eye shadow and eyeliner. Okay. Your other eye. There you go. And literally, this will last you forever because you only need a little speck. Okay. Awesome. So the eye makeup that I'm going to try and do on Joey is that. So we're going to use pinks, golds, and browns. And kind of just keep it really natural to go with her eyebrows. Um, so that's a goal. Okay, so uh, now that she has her primer on, we're going to do a base color of just a white. We're going to do a really thin white color. I just use Wet n Wild. I got it for like 99 cents. So we're just going to use an Ulta eyeshadow brush and put on her base color. So close your eyes.
Okay, so she's got that eye, and then the other eye can you spin a little bit that way. Perfect. So now she's got her base on. Can't even tell that it's there, but it's enough just so that her eyes are highlighted. It's starting to already look super awesome. Ooh. And next we're gonna get um, some pink on her eye. So we're gonna go with the pink color for her eyes to start and we're gonna just put it all over her eyes. It's gonna be this, I don't know if you all can see it. Well, oh, hold it up. It'll be this bubblegum color right here. Ooh, sorry, gonna knock your face. <laughs> okay. Um, Actually, it'll be better right here. So it's gonna be this bubblegum color right here. And we're just gonna put that all over her eyelid. Okay, so now that she has the base on and she's got her light pink, now we're gonna add all our gold palettes on there. Um, definitely, it's kind of hard to see the pink, but that's perfect because everything's kind of neutralized. It looks really good. Actually, she could almost go natural like this and look really good and just add some mascara. But we're gonna use our Sephora palette. Um, it is an eyeshadow palette. It's called Sunrise to Sunset Bronze. Um, those are the different shades that it has. It's got five colors. We're gonna use all five. Um, so I'm gonna start with adding the lightest gold on here. Then we're gonna put this color on top. We're gonna use this corner. Um, just to do her creases, this corner to do her corner creases, and this is just going to fill in the corner. So you'll see in just a second. So we're going to start with this light color first and get it all over her eye. Next up we're going to do is add this, and we're going to really make sure we add a lot of this second color in there. Because this is going to be the gold that really uh, keeps her eye together looking like one, I guess, kind of. I don't know how to describe that. Okay, so now Joey's got the first two colors on. The next we're gonna use that middle gold, the really sparkly one, and we're gonna do her crease in that color. So I have a special brush. The brush I've been using is this e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. But instead we're going to use our smudge eye sponge that we used before, and it's the e.l.f. one. It's this one. And we're gonna smudge some of that middle super sparkly color in her crease all the way across her eye. Okay, so that's what her eyes look like. Can you close them really quick, show them? So you can see the creases that I did right here. Um, with this dark, darker gold. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this fourth color brown in the corners in her creases and we're gonna fill in the corners of her eye with this super dark color. And everything's gonna come together and it's gonna look so awesome. Okay. So her eye makeup's all good. So the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna add some eyeliner, do cute little wings, and then add some mascara. And then a little bit of blush and we'll all be good. Okay, so for eyeliner today I'm gonna use the liquid e.l.f. eyeliner. It's black, or the jet black color. Um, I've gotten used to using the e.l.f. eyeliner just because I find the brush really easy to use. Some people don't. I guess it's personal preference, and I guess in my case it's a good thing I like this stuff because it's so cheap. But, you know, so we'll do regular eyeliner on her eye, and then I'll show you the wings in a second. So Joey is actually having a hard, I'm having a hard time getting it on her eye without, like, not blinking. So I'm going to show her how to do it, and I'm going to teach her how to do it on me. So, let me turn the camera this way. Hello, computer. Okay, <laughs> so what I just do is, I'm just going to do a wing in the corner. And then what I do, do you have a mirror that I can hold up at the same time? Okay. So that this doesn't get in the way. So what I just do, can you see? If you mm -hmm. need, if you can't see what I'm doing, either go over there or go behind me. I can see. It might be easier to look in the mirror and go behind me, but... So what I do is I go in the corner, just a straight line, and then I curve it up. Like maybe an inch. Okay. And then what I do is I connect it. Get unstuck. Okay. So now I take from this spot right here, mm -hmm. and I meet that top line. Like that. Got it. Okay, mm -hmm. so there's your wing. That's how you do a wing. <laughs> I'm going to have a one wing on one, one eye before mm -hmm. I leave. <laughs> so that's how you do a wing. Um, so you want to give it a whirl? Yeah. Okay, so Joey's going to give it a try now that I taught her, and she's just going to do a curve like I did. And then she's going to meet that line. So you almost do like a triangle in the corner of your eye. Okay, so Joey's finishing up her makeup. Um, she only has a couple steps left to do. So we have her concealer. Wow, if I could hold this and not shake it. And then her blush. And I think that's it. Um, so we'll show you the finished look. I'm going to show you what we're going to use now um, so that we can just throw it on her and then it'll look good at the end. So we have this Ulta blush. It's the sun-kissed cheek that we're going to use. Um, for the blush, we're going to use this... Uh, e.l.f. blush brush. We also are going to use a little bit of powder to kind of set everything and get it in place. We're going to use the full face um, e.l.f. brush. Uh, we're going to use the Wet n Wild Coverall Liquid Cream Concealer. And then to touch her eyes up, we're going to do just a little bit of a darker brown uh, using the eyeliner brush. Uh, we're going to use eyeshadow and go under her eye. And I'll show you what shade in just a second. 
And that's it. That's all to her makeup. So concealer, blush, and then of course her lips. We need lipstick. So um, Joey just got her Monroe done today. So we want to highlight that with some pretty makeup and definitely make it pop. And it's already popping right now. So, so something about makeup sometimes is sometimes you mess up and you know there's not much you can do about it. So what I recommend is if you mess up and like, if you completely mess up, just take makeup off your entire eye and start over. If it's pretty similar, but there's a significant enough difference where you want to fix it, my recommendation would be to take a Q-tip and get some lotion or use a makeup wipe. I consider more it to be easier to use a Q-tip and lotion to try and get off and clean up the corners of your eyes. So like, let's say this was too thick and it was longer than this side. So what I'm going to do is take a Q-tip with lotion and just go underneath it and take off some of the bottom layers so that it's not as thick and then take out some off the ends. And that's how to way to fix that. Um, that's what I do and that's what I recommend doing to make your eyes more even. So today, um, for the setting powder, I forgot the setting powder at home, but I use a Clinique uh, Redness Solutions Mineral Powder. And basically, that evens your skin tone any more if there's anything else on your skin. What is, is there a sparkle on my face? Yeah. If you're, if there's any more redness. Like, I don't have any foundation on right now, and you can see there's, like, a lot of redness. It evens out your skin tone, and it actually helps, the mineral powder actually helps even your skin tone, not just when you have makeup on, but, like, in everyday life. So, because I don't have that, we're going to use... Um, one of the colors in here, we're going to use that brown that's right above the light pink. So for you guys, it'll be the top right corner. Or the top left corner, I mean. Top left corner. And we're going to use that color on her skin to just kind of set it and add a little bit of a darker tone to her skin to match what her normal skin tone is. So now I'm going to add this powder color to her face. Darken it up. Okay, so for that I use the, um, the e.l.f. Total Face Brush. Next I'm going to use the blush brush. I'm going to add my Sunkissed Cheek Ulta blush. I actually really like this blush. It's really good. And we're just going to get that on her cheeks. Okay, so Joey is going to do... Which one was it? That one. This one. Joey's going to do this color right here. And she's going to take my e.l.f. eyeliner brush and she's going to go under her eye just with a very thin, thin line to kind of match the rest of her makeup. So we just added Wet n Wild, the white highlighter. I do it under her eyebrows and then in the corners of your eye. You only always want to make sure you add a little bit of white to kind of highlight your eyes and bring the colors out even a little bit more. So last thing Joey's going to do is put on a little bit of mascara and then she's going to do some of her lipstick. She's not sure what color yet, so we're going to figure that out. So like I said, Joey is going to uh, rub in the concealer we added, like the Wet n Wild concealer that I mentioned earlier. She's just going to rub that in with her um, sponge she used. Um, and she has her eyeliner already on, so then she's going to add mascara. I have a really good... Are you going to use your own mascara? Oh, yeah. She has her own mascara she's going to use. I also highly recommend the kind that I use all the time, which is the Maybelline Lash Sensational um, one. It is so good. If you have really long lashes already, it literally makes your eyelashes look like you have fake lashes on. So props to this Maybelline mascara. I have these shortest eyelashes. So, um, this is Voluminous Superstar. It has like two um, mascaras on it. Um, number one is actually, it looks white, but when you put it on uh, with a different color, it won't be white. It'll just look white. Um, and you won't even see the white once you put it on the other color. The second one is actually brown, and I don't like brown. So, I actually use, um, it's a uh, Cheater Mascara. Um, I, got, I got this at Kohl's. And I use, I use the number one first as the white, just to volumize my eyelashes, because they're so tiny. And then I use uh, the black. And it works usually. Okay. So, I am going to use Color Richie. Um, this is Nudes. Um, this is like, um, it says Bell, I guess. So this is Bell. I'm going to use this for the outer sections of my lip. And then just kind of do the outer side. And then I'm going to fill in the inside with this um, rose, is what it's called. And then I'm going to do, on the same things that I did with this, I'm going to uh, fill it out with um, Color Design Work It Metallic. Um, get that little red in there, and then I will just lighten it up a bit with a uh, nude from, this is Lasting Finish uh, Lipstick by Kate. So, yeah. So this is the finished look on Joey. Um, it looks fantastic, all the browns in her eyes. Her eyes are really red out. Um, that makes her piercing look really, really good. It really brings it out. And she is all set for tonight. So thanks for watching another video of Peaks and Valleys. So I'll be back next time with some blue eye makeup for 